Hey guys, and welcome back to a new quick Jetpack Compose tutorial on focus and keyboard management. So very often when people build forms using Jetpack Compose like this one, with a full name, email and a password input, then we can certainly input something there. But if we then hit on this so-called IME action, so on the big green keyboard button, then you can see the keyboard just closes and uh, we need to tap into the next uh, form item and then enter that and then enter that. And uh, if we then submit it at the end with this keyboard uh, button, actually nothing happens until we hit submit. Wouldn't it be much better if we would improve this user experience by a little bit by being able to type something here, clicking this keyboard button, getting to the next form automatically, typing something again, getting to the next form, typing something again, and then being able to submit the form from the keyboard, as you can see, uh, the form was submitted. And sometimes you also want to explicitly put the focus on the first text field by clicking a button, like this. All of that I will show you in this video. And I've already prepared a little column here with a few text fields, just like in my example. So if you want to follow along, then come up with a, a similar setup. But also if you don't follow along, I think this will be pretty clear and understandable since the, the way or the um, what we need to do for that is just not so complex. First of all, what we want is we want to be able to click on our button to request the focus on the very first text field, on this full name text field. And if we want to do that programmatically, then we need a so-called focus requester, which you can create with remember focus requester, and then we can take this focus requester and assign it here to our text field modifier. So we pass in the focus requester. That way we linked it to our very first text field where we want to request the focus. And then when we click on our button here to start filling out the form, we simply call focus requester that request focus. And we can already try this out and launch this. There we go. So now if we now click on start filling out form, then the focus will land here at our full name text field. So far, so good. But right now we, we don't get the um, corresponding keyboard actions to get to the next text field. So what we should do is, you also just saw that it's currently a multi-line text field. So this will be the enter button by default. What we should do is we should go here and make these, sex, uh, these um, text fields single line. And what we also want to pass is we want to pass a keyboard options block where we say that's equal to keyboard options and we set the IME action. So that is the specific action what the user expects to happen and they click on this big green keyboard button. So this could be equal to IME action go when you want to fire a search for example um, so uh, that opens a website you also have an explicit search action here when uh, the user would search something in your app. You have a send action when the user would uh, send a message by clicking this action. So depending on what you want to do with uh, with that keyboard action, you want to assign the right IME action. In our case, we want to use next because the user would expect when they uh, click this to get to the next text field. That is uh, what happens. And in order to now react to these actions, we can use this keyboard actions block. So for all of these different actions, we now have a Lambda which would fire. In our case, we need to listen to on done. Um, no, actually on next, since we use the next keyboard action. And in here, we now need to take the focus of the, um, so the current focus of the text field and move it one layer down. So we want to move it to the next text field. And the way this works is with focus manager. So we pass in or we create a focus manager here with local focus manager that current and this is pretty much our global focus controller kind of since there's always just one element that can be focused at a time and with this focus manager we can now say focus manager move focus into a specific direction and in this case we want to move the focus down but depending on your use case you might also want to move it right or left or up in this case just down so if we relaunch this, then this should already work just fine for our first text field. So if we enter something here, you will see now the keyboard action is actually this next icon. If we click this, the focus moves down to the next text field. So we can just take these two fields, use these as they are for our email text field. Since here we also just want to move the text field down to the password one in this case. But for the password text field, this differs a little bit since we want to not move the focus to another text field, but in this case, say, okay, we are done with the form, we want to submit it. So we set this to IME action done. We don't move the focus, but rather clear the focus. So we want to unfocus all text fields by saying focus manager clear focus. And we say, oops, and we say we want to show a toast that the form was submitted by a keyboard action. So pass in the application context, say form submitted by keyboard. We can say toast length long, 
and we show this toast. This on next has to be replaced with on done, obviously, since we are using the done IME action. And then we're able to submit the form via keyboard, as we can see here. So we can enter something in full name, click next. We get to email, click next. We get to password. And now we see a check mark here and not this next icon anymore. And if we click this, the keyboard hides, we get form submitted by keyboard as a toast. Um, so that seems to be working perfectly fine. So whenever you're dealing with a form like this in Compose, then I really recommend to um, implement focus management like I did here, since that really improves the uh, usability, since the user does not always need to tap into the next text field or um, hide and open the keyboard again. No, they can just keep the keyboard open, jump to the next text field immediately, and then fill that out. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then you will definitely also enjoy my more advanced Android premium courses, which are really made from an Android developer from the industry for Android developers who want to get into the industry or want to improve in the industry. So all those are really practical Android courses that I have on my website down below. Check it out. And other than that, thanks so much for watching. I will see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.